I didn't plan on making this video. I didn't plan to do a video about this anyway. But I felt like I wanted to do this video. I didn't feel like I needed to do it. I felt like I wanted to do it because there's a very important topic in this which definitely needs addressing. This is not the box 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 show by the way. This ain't a race review. There's been no race. That will happen on Tuesday with uh, Silverstone coming up. But this is about racing. This is about motorsport. And it's a very simple sentence. This needs to stop. So if you haven't caught up to date with what happened over the week or so, I'll explain. So on the 22nd of June, a young driver in the Red Bull Academy called Yuri Vips was suspended by the Red Bull team pending a further investigation. Now, I wasn't sure what had happened to begin with, so I started uh, looking up what had happened, and it turned out during a Twitch live stream, I believe it was, Vips had used racist and homophobic language or slurs or foul, um, foul language, basically, in both racist and homophobic terms. Thus, Red Bull suspended Vips pending a further investigation and Vips also released a statement saying that he would help with the investigation should a conclusion um, reach a verdict or should there be a verdict reached basically. It wasn't until this evening that Red Bull had decided to terminate the contract of Yuri Vips because of the allegations and because of the investigation. It's re it reached its conclusion Vips was deemed to have used racist and homophobic language, thus Red Bull terminated its academy contract with Yuri Vips. So now Vips doesn't have a academy to lie on. Every driver who goes through developmental, whether it be Formula 4, Formula 3 or Formula 2, always has a academy to begin with. Russell came from Mercedes, Schumacher came from the Ferrari Driver Academy, Norris came from McLaren, and so on and so forth. However, we did see another story uh, this morning. A former three-time world champion, Nelson Piquet Sr., who was world champion in multiple years, most notably 1981, uh, was also deemed to use racist language in talking about Lewis Hamilton. Now, this coming from a three-time world champion is completely unacceptable. Especially someone as experienced as Nelson Piquet Senior, he is he has criticised Lewis Hamilton in the past. We've all noticed it. However, he has not been noted to use racist language on or about Hamilton. He has never used that. He's criticised him in the past, but he has never been known to use racist language against Hamilton. However, during an interview this morning, which I caught up on just after I woke up, it turned out that Nelson Piquet Sr. had been using racist language, which is completely unacceptable, it's completely unorthodox, it's outrageous, and it is messed up. Again, coming from a three-time world champion, someone who has a lot of experience in Formula 1, having been world champion, like I said, three times, and again, most notably in 1981, someone who has more experience in Formula 1 than Lewis Hamilton, Someone who's a three-time world champion should never, ever use racist language. He's a grown man, for goodness sake. We cannot be using racist language or homophobic language um, in any situation at all. And I, I came to Lewis Hamilton's defence. I said Hamilton was a well-respected well driver who's had accomplishments both on and off the track and should be treated fairly and equally alongside everyone else. Now, again, I'm going to say, this has to stop. It's 2022. We cannot be using racist or homophobic or foul, like, offensive language that some people may deem racist, some people may deem homophobic, some people may even find them transphobic. Who knows? It cannot be deemed acceptable that we have to do this. This coming from, again, a three-time world champion and also a academy driver, well, now a former academy driver for Red Bull since his contract has already been terminated. This cannot continue. With 
Nelson Piquet Sr. I said it already. Lewis Hamilton is a well-respected racer who's had accomplishments both on and off the track. He's a seven-time world champion. He's up there with one of the best. He's one of the greatest. You know, he's up there with the best. You know, he has proven time and time again that, you know, he can rise from a challenge, albeit hard or, you know, easy, depending on how you look at it. Lewis Hamilton should never face abuse. He's already faced abuse in the past. He's facing abuse now, which should not be deemed acceptable. Someone from the FAA or John Todd or whoever's running the FAA now or the president of F1, Stefano Domenicali, do your jobs, step up, deem punishments that people can go and say, okay, they've dealt with this the right way. Same as how Red Bull have dealt with the Yuri Vips situation. They've now terminated his contract, and rightly so. This cannot continue. Deem punishments, whoever is at fault for using racist language or homophobic language or any other offensive language, deem punishments which will be rightly taken by the fans or whoever is found to use offensive language, like Nelson Piquet Sr., deem them punishable. Same with the Brazilian media, because I believe he, taught, he said it on a Brazilian interview show. Same with the Brazilian media who had Nelson Piquet Sr. that day. Deem punishments that say, well, you can't come to our show anymore. We don't associate ourselves with racists or homophobics. Deem them punishable for their actions, because this cannot go on any further. I've seen people use racist language in football, and they get banned from stadiums, they get banned from watching football games. Deem them banned from, I don't know, driver academies like Vips, or Brazilian interviews, hopefully soon to Nelson Piquet Sr., because he deserves it. Or if anyone is seen or spectating, using racist language to anyone or whoever in motorsport, tell them you cannot have them in your location again. Tell them you cannot have them like wherever you're holding events now. Say if someone is racially abusing Hamilton in Catalonia, ban them from the track for life. Same with Silverstone. If someone abuses, uh, I don't know, Max Verstappen or someone, ban them from Silverstone for life. Same with France, etc. You get my point. This cannot go on any further. We live in a world now where people should be treated fairly, treated equally and respected equally together. And that is what we should all do. No matter who you are, what colour you are, who you, who you choose to be, we should all be treated fairly and should all be respected equally. And that's all I'm going to say about the matter. Yuri Vips, you should be ashamed of yourself. And Nelson Piquet Sr., you are a grown man. You should know by now that this is not acceptable and will not be acceptable. This is it. This needs to stop. I'm saying it now. This has to stop.